we'll be creating a water sewer project using Geopack Water and Sewer. We'll enter a name for our project. We will set water and sewer preferences. And these will point to the DDB cell library, water sewer library, and also specify our terrain. Our water line or sewer line in this case is drawn as a single graphic. It fits entirely on the surface. To add a sewer line, we'll create it. We'll specify the element and we will select our element, define the direction, accept it. just open up our project preferences. Say OK. And we'll use a library defined pipe. And we'll apply. We'll create some sewer nodes. By adding sewer node, we'll tell it to auto locate. And we'll set the nodes simply at critical points minimum maximum depth will be set and we'll set it to design a drop and we'll click apply perhaps we need to add an additional sewer node in this case we will dynamically place a node if we need to we can key in a specific station and apply. Next we'll generate our profile. And we'll be going from sewer node 4 to sewer node 1. We'll click apply. We'll load some predetermined preferences. We'll set the surface option. And we'll delineate the symbology for the top and bottom of our pipe. Click back to the registration and we'll set data point, say apply. To edit the pipe profile, we'll come into our node and let's go back to our display. And we'll ID the pipe that we want to edit. In this case, um, I'll come in and adjust this pipe elevation to uh, 446 even. Tab, modify, and apply. I'll move to my next pipe, select it, and in this case I want to design a drop. So we'll lower that to 1444. Click modify and apply. can also perhaps I want to lower to fourteen forty.
the upper invert should have remained. I'll set a drop on each subsequent pipe, select the pipe, and change the invert to 1438. Toggle to hold. ID the end pipe. Key in the invert 1436, modify, and apply. Do a file, project, save, and I'm ready to move on.